everybody. Welcome back. James out here again with you at the pond today doing some quarantine fishing. And today I wanted to show you guys probably one of the easiest ways I have ever gotten earthworms or night crawlers, whatever you want to call them, without actually going to the store and buying them. Now, you know, you can go out at nighttime with a flashlight catch them that way you can uh, shock them in the ground find them that way I mean there's so many different ways you can grunt them in the ground but this one this way that I caught these and I didn't even know I caught them believe it or not it was kind of a crazy thing of how I got all these worms and you probably won't believe it either and it was all an accident which is crazy to believe so I'm going to tell you how I did it well I shouldn't say I did it it was by accident like I said my wife ended up leaving a bag of Scott's topsoil out in her flower bed and the top of the bag was cut off to where the bag was laying down on the ground in her flower bed. Well, she kind of left it out there and nobody ever picked it up. I didn't mess with it because it was her, her flower bed and all that. Well, come to find out, we were spring cleaning yesterday when it was nice outside, really nice and sunny. She pulled the bag up and the, the bag was full of night crawlers again earthworms whatever you want to call them full of them so let me show you all right guys so here is topsoil that's been left outside the wife accidentally left it out in her garden flower bed and when she pulled it back up she couldn't believe that this thing was filled with worms and you can see I've been picking them out for fishing. So let me find some real quick. They crawled all the way down to the bottom. But this is an easy way to get night crawlers without having to go to the store. I still think that's crazy though. that the worms went straight to this bag. There's another little one. There's one. It's a nice one. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some big ones down in there. Oh yeah, I remember seeing some big ones down in there yesterday. Fish are going to love those. I'm not going to take all of them, but you can see them. couple more and be done got about a dozen or so and I can put them back in the bag when I'm done if I don't use them like I said guys that had to be the easiest the easiest way that, that I've ever caught night crawlers and by accident uh, it's crazy like I said you can put all the effort in to catch them go to the store and buy them or you could just leave a bag of topsoil laying out with the top cut off of it and they'll crawl right into it a 
nothing too major, but still caught on free worms. Can't beat that. Well, guys, I'm going to cut the camera here and hope you all have a safe day in quarantine and all that stuff. Not get sick. Uh, I'm just going to enjoy some private time out here. I'm out here by myself, so but I figured I'd share that story of how I caught these worms. I thought that was interesting. I've never heard of or seen of anything like that before. I mean, I know the worms are in soil, but it, Scott's turf builder or Scott's uh, topsoil must be some type of attractant to them because it stayed moist in the bag the whole time. Uh, the bag was just filled up with them. Um, so I thought that was very interesting. But anyways, guys, uh, again, stay safe out there. Let's see what I can catch with the worms that I got. And might get some fillets out of it. Who knows? Talk to you later.